Well, the message tonight is be patient. That's what plow drivers in South Jordan are asking residents to be after receiving hundreds of requests to plow neighborhoods. Yeah, new specialist Ashley Moser join us live right now on why they could not get to many of these roads. Ashley? Guys, this storm was relentless. I want to show you some of those plow drivers. They just passed us, and they have been busy, hard at work here in South Jordan. We saw about two feet of snow. Um, places like this, 114th, they focused on these main corridors. Um, but in the neighborhoods, obviously, they couldn't get to many of them until the storm let up closer in the evening hours. Uh, but yeah, walk over here. You can see the neighborhoods. They were able to plow at least this area. But if you go deeper, I mean, it is, it's packed on there. Uh, but earlier today, it was a nightmare for residents trying to get out. We saw a bunch of cars getting stuck. We saw neighbors helping neighbors. Always good to see. Unfortunately, the storm was so bad, the snow kept coming down. They had to put all their effort onto keeping those main thoroughfares clear. Today, I don't think we really got to focus on the neighborhoods too much. I would say the storm gave us a break around 4 o'clock this afternoon, 3.30, where we actually started to see some progress. And the mains were actually starting to turn black, which is what we like to see. And so once we hit that, we were able to start breaking off. And guys, we saw those plows breaking off into neighborhoods. If we could go live, we we're actually seeing another plow crew pass us here on 114 South. They have 12 big plows here in South Jordan, 25 smaller ones um, to go into the neighborhoods. The city's telling me today was rough for them, uh, but they are hard at work. The crews will be working through the night, and they tell me they're actually going to be focusing on the alleyways in daybreak neighborhoods uh, because garbage day is tomorrow, so they need to get those cleared uh, for residents and also people wanting to go back to work after a snow day. That's something that they'll be watching very closely. So the message here tonight, be patient. They have received your requests, those calls, those emails. So they know that there are some streets they need to get to, but they're asking us all to be patient. Back to you. Yeah, it sounds like they just had to keep up with what was happening today in those main thoroughfares. All right, Ashley, thank you.